I'm going to be showing you how you can read the Sony DVD RW 1.4 GB disk from your Sony camcorder on your computer. So you see, this camera that we have, which is a Sony camcorder, takes these types of disks, which are Sony DVD RW 1.4 GB. So you have a disk like this one. I'm going to be showing you how you can read this disk on your computer so that you can look at the videos or files you have on this disk. This does not work if you have a this is not this method I'm going to be showing you does not work if you have a DB tape. That method is different if you want to connect the DV tape to your computer from your camera. So what you need to do is you need to turn on your camera right here. Turn it on by toggling it from off to on. And now you're going to be seeing that your camera is on. What you need to do now is we're going to be inserting the disc into your camera. So what you need to do is head over to the disc tray and you need to click on where this is open and make sure you have the button button pressed up and hold it down to where the disc tray opens. Now what you need to do is insert your disc into the disc tray on your camera. Now that you inserted a disc into your camera, what you need to do is you need to open up the monitor right here. You need to open up the preview monitor on your camera. Open it up and then it says disc access right here. What you need to do is just wait for the camera to recognize the disc and then it's going to be able to get read on your camera. Now what you need to do is click on where it says P menu, click on P menu. Then you're going to be seeing this button that says finalize. Click that and then all your videos are going to be finalized. And that means that if you want to record on your camcorder with the camera, you're going to have to unfinalize the disc again so that it can be read on your camera. If you want to unfinalize your disc, I have a video on that on how you can unfinalize your disc on your camera. So that you can read the camera and make videos on the camera again. So what you need to do now is if you want to read the disc on your computer, click on finalize. Then it says finalize setting. Click on OK. Then it says finalize the disc. Click on yes. Click on yes if you want to finalize the disc. Click on yes. Now it says are you sure? Click on yes. And then it's going to be finalizing the disc. It says avoid any vibration. That means that do not move the camera. Now what we're going to be doing is the video is going to be finalizing so that it can be read on your camera. That means that you're not going to be able to read the disc if you want to record videos on it. So just let it, just let the progress finish and I'll be back when the progress is done. Now it says finalize complete and what you need to do now is you can click on where it says OK and now what you need to do is, is, is you see it's going to be blinking the little play button and the video DVD symbol right there. That means that you're not going to be able to record on your camera because it's going to be saying zero minutes. You see I'm going to be trying to record on the camera but it's not going to be letting me. You see? It says you need to unfinalize disk. So if you want to unfinalize your disk, I have a video on that that I'm going to be leaving in the link in the description or in the comments. So now what you need to do is you want to turn off your camera right here. Turn off your camera. But before you turn off your camera, what you need to do is you need to take off the disk. Take out the disk by heading to the disk drive right here on your camera. And now you want to you want to press the button where it says open and leave it leave it pressed to to when the camera door opens right here to when the DVD door opens, leave it pressed. Now that the door opened on the disk drive, what you need to do is you can open up the disk and take out the disk and then we're going to be inserting this disk into the computer. We're going to be inserting this disk into the computer so that you can view the files you have or the videos you made from the disk. Now close the disk drive on your, on your camera and you want to turn off your camera. Now we're going to be heading over to the computer so that you can view the, f the videos from your camera. Now that you inserted the disk into your disk drive on your computer, your video is going to be popping up in the media window when it pops up with a DVD media window. So just let it come up and then I'll show you what you need to do if you want to view the disk on your computer. The media window for the DVD is going to be showing up on your computer. So just let it show up when it comes up. 
now you see the media player came up and I'm going to be showing you what you need to do is if you want to view the video from your DVD. So I'm going to be showing you what you need to do. You see, you have the media window right here where you can select. Right here, let me full screen it. You see that you have the video, the media window for the title screen right here. You can choose whatever video you want to play on your camera. But if you want to see all the videos, you can click right here where it says next. Then this is title screen 2 right here. It says title screen 2. And then title screen 3, 4, 5, and 6 right here. This is the title screen that you have on your DVD right here. So if you want to view your DVD, what you need to do is you can click. You can click on one of the DVDs you have on the media window right here. I'm going to be showing you what you need to do. You see? If you want to view it, you need, you can click right here. If, if it's not highlighted blue on the for the box, if the box is not highlighted blue, then that means that you have not selected the video you want to view on your computer. So I'm going to be pressing the video so that you can view it right here. You see, now the video is going to get viewed on your media window on your computer from the disk. You see? You see now, your video is playing on your computer with the DVD from your camera, that Sony camcorder. This also works so that you can view your DVD on your on your computer or on your TV. This method I showed you will also work to view your DVD on your computer or on your TV using a DVD player or the DVD disk drive on your computer or the DVD player on your TV. So